Hey everyone, so here is another example of a grammatical discrepancy, a solecism, in the book of Revelation. Or notice the phrase New Jerusalem with the word new is found only twice here in the book of Revelation. Where in chapter 21, verse 2 here, the noun Jerusalem is parsed in the accusative feminine singular. All right, accusative feminine singular, which then here, the verb should be the same, which it is, accusative feminine singular. Okay, this is correct. Good job. But then in Revelation 3.12, where we find New Jerusalem again, which the parsing is genitive, which is correct, because it, this is the case of description in this verse, the verb, the same verb descending, is parsed in the nominative here. This is incorrect. The verb should be parsed the same as the noun here. Where then in Revelation 21.10, we find actually a third occurrence of the word Jerusalem with the verb, again, descending, which is correct. It's parsed in the accusative here, where the verb matches. So in two of three occurrences, the writer got it correct. Where in Revelation 3.12, the verb parsed in the nominative does not match the genitive clause here, which is incorrect. Whereas I've stated in my previous videos, the writer of this spurious epistle was not John the Loved of Jesus Christ. These solecisms do not occur in the epistle of John, 1, 2, 3, John, or any of the other prophets. Only in this epistle do we find this magnitude of grammatical errors. Where I'm using the cover of Fred Harding's book for my thumbnails here, because it looks cool. And secondly, I highly suggest that you get this book and read it because he actually goes into much more detail concerning three Johns in the early church, which we have gotten confused throughout the centuries. Showing that John the loved of Jesus Christ was not the writer of this spurious epistle, where by the way, if you go to my YouTube channel, Revelation Questions, and click on Playlists, I have a, a playlist here with 60 videos where this thumbnail here is the first video talking about who wrote the book of Revelation, where also these videos, the grammatical solecism videos, I'm organizing in this playlist because there's going to be a lot of them, which I want to document here at this channel, which I've actually had for almost a decade now, where I just broke a thousand subscribers. Yay.